Protein Beta, short antimatter containment. Ask to need to reinforce F shields. Working on it, ma'am. I need you to make these. Make these changes to the starboard power conduits. Bridge to engineering. I need more power to shields. Working on it, Captain. How soon? Any second, Captain. Shields at 24%, Captain. Continue to return fire. The Tholians are concentrating all their fire on us, Captain. Signal the fleet to withdraw and regroup. Since we're taking most of the Tholian's fire, more of them will be able to escape. The fleet is withdrawing, ma'am, except... We got that extra power, Captain. Shields at 49%. Shields down to 37%. Two more Tholian ships about to open fire, Captain. Engineering a sick bay. We've got wounded here. Bridge to sick bay. Medical emergency. <laughs> Report! Three ships have decloaked, Captain. A Romulan warbird, Klingon cruiser, and a bird of prey. Captain, it's General Korg. On screen, Lieutenant. Captain Shelby, we're extending our shields around you. If you have warp drive, I suggest you follow us to the rendezvous point in the Decreek Expanse. Aye, General. We're right behind you. Orbeck and Captain Nejta. Draw Serox fire until the Excelsior jumps to warp. Then follow. They're getting away. They are also breaking off their attack. Which is fortunate for us at the moment. Losing control of the Tetrahedron was an unexpected turn. As our abduction of Knapp's daughter came as a surprise to them. What do we do with her now? We keep her. She may be of use to us later. Petras, see to her. What have we gained? We've lost one of our orbital platforms, two task forces, and the Tetrahedron. Not to mention having to divert two dozen ships to search the currents for the path to the Grey's home star system. You are young. Too young to realize that patience is our best asset. The Federation is panicked. We just have to wait for them to make more mistakes. And they will make mistakes, Sir Gant. It's practically one of your Starfleet regulations. We will get the information we need to confront the Grey once and for all. Stardate 60121.3. The fleet has withdrawn to our auxiliary staging area in the Tecrit Expanse. It's time to lick our wounds. 
We've lost about one quarter of our fleet. Our attack caught the Tholians unaware, with nearly 25 vessels on patrol in the currents, presumably looking for the Greysholm star system. And our allies, the Cardassians, have withdrawn, citing heavy losses. The Cardassians have to deal with the restless public back home. What we need to focus on is our next move against the Tholians. They lost half their remaining fleet at Tren La, but the rest of their ships are protected by the two remaining orbital platforms. They need to divert some of those ships. In addition to having their headquarters on Trenla, the Tholians have established two other installations near entry points to the currents they believe will lead them to the Grey Star System. Why would they do that? It spreads them out so thinly. The currents have a limit as to how many starships can travel through one at any given time. I believe the size of fleet that Surik intends to attack the Grey with exceeds the capacity of the current near Trendla. The next largest installation orbits Centrus Three, Where the Grey attacked us almost two years ago. Its currents lead to their home star system. Building the Tholian installation there gives us a clue that Surak is getting close to discovering the path to the Grey. An attack there has the advantage of hurting another key installation and forcing the Tholians to split their forces. And do you think Surak will take the bait? If there's one thing I know about Surak, he likes to cover his bases, especially his military ones. Now, yes. begin, your begin your tactical preparations. preparations. Captain Shelby, with all due respect, I am the most senior officer in the Alliance, now that Admiral Knapp is indisposed. And with the Excelsior badly damaged, my crew and I are better equipped to lead this next stage of the attack. I want this confirmed by Admiral Necheyev. If you feel you must, Captain, but surely in the meantime, Captain Naros can begin his preparations. Agreed. You knew Trey had been kidnapped, and you didn't tell me. Ian, I only knew she was missing. And you were leading our most decisive attack yet in this conflict. I could not afford to have you distracted. You could not afford. And until you report, I could not know that it was Sirok who took her. I'm sorry it had to happen this way, Ian. But Captain Shelby did the right thing. Given the circumstances. Thanks for looking out for me, Admiral. Ian. You. You're angry. Because of you, I'm no longer in command of this fleet. Look at me, Ian. Admiral, face me. That is an order, Admiral. Whom are you really angry at? At my fingertips, I held perhaps the most concentrated destructive force in human history. But I still couldn't protect the life of one little girl. My little girl. Ian, you're perhaps the strongest man I know. But who can expect to be both a father and admiral when challenged as both at the same time? But I don't even know if she's alive or not. Is this how you want to end up, Ian? Guilt-ridden and powerless? Don't try your counselor tricks on me. Don't insult me, Ian. You know I care for Treya. I want her back, too. Safe. Do you think we can do that without you back in command? All right, Counselor. Let's talk. Gomelec. The approaching shuttle. There is a courier beacon from Central Command. Direct the courier to the starboard landing bay and implement the appropriate security measures. Yes, sir. The trust, my old colleague. Malek. I assume security protocols are in place. The security monitors between here and the wardroom have been deactivated. After you. Two bowls of Simhal stew with yamak sauce on the side. That's the way you like it, isn't it, the trust?
Tholian replicators do an abysmal job of making Semhal stew. Even worse with the young Oxos. You deserve Petras. You have the information. Besides Neros, they're the only ones who know the path to the Grey. <laughs> My pain meds are wearing off. <sighs> Mine too. It appears we've been triaged to our lower priority. That's probably the most sleep you've had since... I'm sorry, Matt. I spoke without thinking. I was gonna say the same thing to you. Your nightmares have been the subject of a lot of talk around the Grey Research Facility. They've come between me and Jorian? I've heard that too. Corey, he and I work together in the research facility. I... I know... I know about Dao. You've been spending more time with him than I have lately. And now that he's joined the Helena, word's gotten around about you too. You've taken Andy's loss pretty hard. I've been dealing with that lately. It's a tall I'm really worried about. Gentlemen. Doc. Glad you found time to stop by. Pain meds can sure use a refresher. I don't suppose you'd be willing to consider pain a character-building experience? I think my character's had enough of a workout lately. Ah, oh, you're joking. I'll enter that into your chart. That's progress. As for you, Mr. Astor, I'm getting increasingly desperate calls from the chief engineer to get you back on duty. Oh, thanks, Doc. Your wounds are responding well to treatment. Well enough to put you back on duty, at least. I want you back every eight hours for another shot. Aye, sir. So I can go now, too? Both of you. Be back here in eight hours. Captain's Log, Supplemental. Our repairs are almost complete, and Captain Narrows' battle plans are ready to review. Until Admiral Knapp returns to duty, Necheyev has confirmed General Korg's command of the fleet, for the good of the Alliance. In the meantime, I have my own personal issues to resolve. Heads up, Commander. Well, I know you're anxious for the repairs, Elizabeth, but you didn't have to come all the way down here yourself. When I called you Commander Robin, I didn't just mean Lieutenant Commander. Here are your new orders. You've been promoted and assigned Excelsior's new First Officer. Elizabeth, I'm really flattered. My place is here, don't you think? This is what I do. Your place was here, Robin. I know you love these engines. But with Narrows gone, I need someone I can trust on the bridge next to me. You've been grooming Asta for two years now. He's ready. So are you. You can count on me, Captain. When this is over, these engines might call me back. You help me win this war, and maybe I'll let you answer them. Tria. Don't talk to me. You have no right to talk to me, Bayless. I did not know this would happen. You knew you were lying. You knew you were part of some kind of scheme. And you knew I was a target. Did I leave something important out? Golmalek lied to me, Treya. You felt the anti-human sentiment on Cardassia? My people are worried about being pulled into another drawn-out conflict by Starfleet. What does that have to do with me? Treya, we Cardassians must be architects of our own recovery. Golmalek understands that. If humans are to play a role in that, then we can never feel worthy of our own culture again. And your father commands the Allied fleet. Don't you see how someone Cardassia might project his blame onto you? I honestly thought I was protecting you by getting you off Cardassia Prime. I didn't expect this. Hello, children. I bring you news and visitors. 
Glenn Matras, you're in league. We are all working for Cardassia's glory, Payless. I've done my part. So I'm told, boy. Gul Malak will have work for you on Cardassia Prime. See to his departure. And you, my dear, you continue to be a most precious asset. My father won't submit to blackmail. <laughs> Oh, your father will submit to fatherhood, and that is all we need. Verena, take the girl to my ship. Captain on the bridge. We have our orders. We believe in the Salt and the Tholian base at Center 3. Lieutenant, coordinate departure with these ships. And schedule a mission briefing in 20 minutes. Aye, sir. Estimated time to the Centris 3 installation, Mr. What was your name again? DeFalco? Yes, whatever. Two hours, 35 minutes. We will deposit young Ms. Knapp there and then return to Tren La to plan our next move with Sirak. What do you think Sirak will do next? His first order of business is finding all the currents that lead to the Grey Star System. Sirak has grand plans for the Grey's technology. Once we vanquished them and plundered their Dyson Sphere, the galaxy is ours. I think Sirak has other things on his mind. I thought you couldn't read his mind. What do you know? His mind resisted my probe and he can sense when I try. I decided it wouldn't be wise to try again. But I can sense his emotions. Only the prospect of destroying the Grey and Naros pleases him. I sense nothing when we talk of conquest. Enough, Sir Gant. It is with all our best interests to remain loyal to Sirak. Of course. I'm sure Lord Sirak will keep his bargains with each of us. Hey. Commander. I have new orders for you, Mr. Astor. Yes, sir. As it turns out, I'm your new executive officer. Congratulations. Given our current situation, I'm not sure congratulations are what we should be exchanging. But Excelsior needs a new chief engineer, Corey. You're next in line. And I can't think of anyone more qualified. Thank you, sir. But what did you mean, our current situation? Admiral Knapp is still relieved of duty. So Captain Shelby is back in command. Honestly, Corey, my own promotion is the last thing I wanted. It's hard to leave this engine room. But Captain Shelby needs me and I will follow her. I need you to keep these engines running the way you know I like them. I won't disappoint you, sir. As you were, Commander. Captain Naros, you understand that timing will be critical. I understand, General. Lieutenant Zen has prepared backup communication protocols to ensure you get our signal in time. Excellent. Your attack on Centris 3 will need to be swift and ruthless to ensure the Tholians divert as many ships as possible from Trenla. How soon can you leave, Captain? On your command, Captain. Launch when ready, Captain Naros. As you can see, we're planning a multi-pronged attack. The Romulans will focus on one of the orbital platforms, and we and the Klingons on the other. What about the Tholian ships? Strictly secondary targets. I'll need you to adjust our shielding and weapons. Yes, ma'am. The good commander accepts his weaknesses as well as his strengths. Other people help fill in the gaps. I'm beginning to realize that, sir. Yes, Mr. McCabe, I believe you are. Tom. May I come in? Yes, of course, Admiral. Lieutenant, do you mind if we have the room? Of course, sir. Please, me and sit. 
I won't pretend this isn't awkward. And I won't pretend that I didn't feel you'd betrayed me, Elizabeth. Admiral, I... These past few days, stuck in my quarters, talking to Elbree, they forced me to take a long look at myself. As a parent, as an officer. I don't think I liked what I saw. I realize I can't do either job all by myself. I have to face the fact that I have to rely on other people. That I have to rely on your judgment, Elizabeth, when mine falters. Thank you, sir. Your plans look good. I know they officially came from court, but they have Shelby written all over them. I have a few minor suggestions for improvement. I'd expect nothing less, sir. It's your show, Elizabeth. I trust you. Ian, I'd be honored, sir, if you stood with me on the bridge during this battle. You know, sir, the tradition of touring a ship on the eve of battle. Would you join me in a tour of the ship? We're two minutes from docking at the Centris 3 station. Wait a minute. Patras, I'm reading an opening in two currents to this star system. Multiple ships are emerging. The Federation? With Romulans and Klingons. Bring us a full impulse. Warn the station we're landing hot and raise Ciroc on subspace. How many ships? We don't know. They're still emerging from the currents. It must be a diversion. They want Trin La. The number of ships massing for attack here is not small, Lord Sirak. Centris Three is not as well defended as Trin La. If this is their objective... It confirms our hypothesis that the currents leading away from the Centris system may lead to the Grey. Doesn't that argue for diverting the ships here? Brace yourselves for their attack. Let's force them to show their hand before we commit ourselves. We await your decision, my lord. Captain, our ships are taking a lot of damage, and the Tholians have deployed ships towards the two current openings we're using. Acknowledged. Any word from our listening posts about ship movements from Trenla? Nothing, Captain. Surak may not be taking our bait. Sir, shields down to 52%. Faisal! Sickbay, medics to the bridge. Mr. Zen, it's time to get Surik's attention. We have them at a standstill, Patras. Shouldn't we call for reinforcements from Trinla? We may not need to. Report! Reading broad spectrum isolitic signals! Directed where? Everywhere! Nowhere! I'm not sure! There can't be a tetrahedron here. I can't detect one, but something's happening. Captain, I've managed to get the satellites we detected here two years ago to decloak, but I can do little else. I'm betting all we have to do is get them agitated. Petros, there appears to be a network of satellites in orbit of the planet, like small tetrahedrons. Isolitic signals are increasing. Signal, Sirak. Tetrahedron, Sirak. All around the planet. Small ones. Allied forces are advancing. We're dispatching reinforcements now. Captain, long-range sensors have detected a Tholian task force on course from the central system. Word from General Korg? He's signaling now to begin the attack. Let's move out, Mr. McCabe. Command deck, recall the task force.
Captain, structural integrity of Sirix orbital platform is buckling, but I'm detecting the launch of this command carrier under heavy escort. Korg is ordering the Klingons to pursue. They're heading straight for the current that goes to the center system. Shall we to Starfleet vessels? Command some mop-up operations. Captain, I'm reading thousands of Tholian life signs on the planet's surface. Mr. McCabe, send for the prison transports to beam them up from the planet to their brigs. And send a signal to Princess Eliana and Deep Space 12. Tell her her home planet has been liberated from the Tholians. Unable to prevent Sirach's command carrier from reaching the current. We should have pursued them all the way to the centrist system. We reached our battle objective. Trend lies free, and Sirach's plans are disrupted. Your battle plan was most effective, Captain Eros. The Tholians have regrouped in the centrist system. Near a current that can be used to eventually reach the Greys' home. But they're not going anywhere for a while. In the meantime, Admiral, I'd like to commission the Starfleet Corps of Engineers to install a permanent outpost in the Trenlaw system. That way we can best defend our interests. Agreed, Admiral. Welcome back, Lieutenant. I heard you get the credit for spooking Sirak enough to divert his ships. Thank you, Mr. McCabe. Congratulations, Jorian. I have another counseling appointment, so... Gathering your things. I've been reassigned to the Hell now for a few months, so... Of course. Well, I'm just gonna... Jorian. You have time for dinner? We have a lot of catching up to do. Yes. I'd like that. So what do we do now, with so much of our fleet lost? My lord? Our military miscalculation is only a delay, Petras. We both know we have other methods of pursuing the Grey. I prefer a more personal battlefield as well, Lord Sirak. Then let's begin. <laughs> 